Chiba here. I'm here at Torero Stadium. Uh, beautiful Sunday afternoon. Uh, just watch San Diego against Chicago. It's going to be a great game. San Diego is 2 0. Perfect start to the season. Four goals last week by Alex Morgan. Again, the lineup is here. We're going to have on goals, not only but Sheridan. Uh, two clean sheets back to back. She had the third one today, maybe. Uh, we got Tegan McGrady on the left, Girma and McNabb at center back. No Kyle Dock never she was injured last week. We got West Powell right back. Van Ekman at center defensive mid. They're on up on top, two center mid. Kornick and Real. Kornick who's been very attacking recently. Amira uh, Ali making her first NWSL start of the season uh, over at the right wing. Then you got Alex Morgan going to be playing a little more left forward, left wing position. And then you got Jody Taylor up on top. It's this very solid lineup uh, from Casey Stoney's side. I think prediction, I think San Diego is going to take it maybe 3-1. I don't, I don't think maybe a clean sheet today. But again, who knows? I am learning this as I'm going. Uh, I'm excited for this game. Forward, All right. seven, That's $200 right there. <laughs> The captain, midfielder, yeah. Paul, number right here. Vanessa How do you feel about the jersey, man? Defender, number I mean, it's the first Jordan jersey, so I can't complain. Defender, number Support the city all the time. Yeah, man. What are you looking Defender, forward to this game today? Tatum it's a good game. It's always been a good game here. Forward, home, so number 25, I'm sure Ava it'll be fun. Cook. All right, San Diego, on your feet. It's time to greet the players as they make their way on. We're approaching the first 20 minutes of the first half. San Diego Wave style has been the same. Uh, a lot of high pressing from San Diego Wave, and it's, it seems to be working out. They're still nil nil at the ha uh, first 20 minutes. But again, a few shots from Amir Ali, headers off a corner kick, counter attacks have been happening for San Diego Wave. It's looking pretty good for San Diego Wave. I do think they're going to end up winning this game. Uh, I think it's just a matter of time before they get one in. All right, guys, we're at the around the 32nd, 33rd minute. Now Army Gima, Gima goes down again. Seems to have some sort of injury. Looks like on her, somewhere on her left leg. It's not looking too good for her. Hopefully it doesn't mean an early substitution for Sandy away and it will be another back-to-back -back weeks where Casey's Tony has to make four substitution in the first half due to injury. That's never a coach's uh, dream start to a game, but sometimes it happens. Again, Sandy away keeps high pressure. They had some chances. Uh, Courtney got Foul in the box, requested a penalty call. The referee said, no, 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 let's keep playing. And so, so far it's been a pretty San Diego Wave dominant game. Sheridan has had maybe two, three easy stops that she, she routine saves for her. Hopefully San Diego Wave is able to put one in before halftime. Uh, it looks like a sellout crowd almost. A few seats missing. I think around 6,000 people probably. Uh, atmosphere is great. A lot different than other games, but it's nonetheless a great atmosphere. We have our first goal of the game, San Diego Wave's very own Alex Morgan scores it again from the penalty spot. That's in two games, three goals from the penalty spot for Alex Morgan. 
very strong left foot shot. Uh, three, three for three in penalties, can't get any better than that. But again, attacking wise, San Diego Wave is very efficient. Off a of counter attack, uh, Sofia Jacobson goes in the box, gets fouled, the defender gets a yellow card. Very nice counter attack for San Diego Wave, and they're up one nothing. I got San Diego Wave still up one nothing here in the 70th minute of the game. Two goals ruled off sides by the referee. One of them would have been another Alex Morgan banger and then one by Sofia Jackson on a tap in. Part of the game, can blame the referee there, but uh, I don't think the second one or the third one might have been off sides. Well, that's the game. San Diego Wave wins 2-1 uh, against uh, Chicago Red Stars. Three consecutive wins, 3-0 start to the season. It does not get any better than that. Uh, one goal against. It's amazing. It's amazing to be a San Diego Wave fan right now. The crowd is going crazy at the end of the game. Uh, Casey Stoney must be really happy with the start of the season. They have four consecutive away games until their next home match. So that's, I want to see how that takes a toll on the team. Uh, it's going to be a lot of mental strength, obviously, for straight home away games. It has to be difficult. So that's probably what I'll get to ask Casey Stoney, see if we get some words on that. But nonetheless, great performance by San Diego away and then up winning 2-1. to one. Coach, great performance by the team today. Uh, now you have four consecutive away games. So what's the mentality and the mindset that players need to have to get through those four games? Yes, it's in the question. Mentality is a key piece. Uh, I think the group has shown already across the whole team and, and players and staff that it's going to take a big team effort together and and the mentality piece is is important we show that you know we've showed some character in the challenge cup we've had some adversity we've had to respond to we've gone to houston which is a tough place to go and play and, and you know we've, we've worked hard and come out there with a result so we've been on the road we've got the wins so we need to go and do that again but it's going to be tough tough stretch coming up nice that we've got some a strong home, home performance we've got points on the board entertaining performance for our home crowd so let's go on the road and, and see if we can keep it going which i'm confident we will sophia you had to come early in the first half take us through that i know it's maybe not as expected to come in early in the first half due to an injury but tell us about that and how you adapted to this game yeah yeah, when she got injured the first time, obviously I was warming up and uh, was ready to come in. It's always hard to come into a rhythm in the directly when you're coming in because it's so high intensity in the game. But I just felt better and better as far as the game went. So it was fun to get in and play today. 